The founding of the Institute for Copper in 1962 was a result of social, economic, scientific and educational circumstances and needs at the time. Growing in accordance with the social needs with the time and due to its extended activity, in 2007 the institute separated as a self-standing scientific research institution, changed its name into Mining and Metallurgy Institute Bor, and turned to its own development and market activity. Today, 55 years later, Mining and Metallurgy Institute Bor is the most significant institute in the field of research and development in the country, renowned abroad too. The institute operates within well-organized units, of which special emphasis is on the engineering and project planning section, the essential part of the institute since its beginning, laboratory section equipped with up-to-date instrumentation, Noble Metals Experimental Investigation section, Scientific section with scientific research, and IT section, which keeps the Institute up to date in that area. In order to ensure the most efficient and optimal development, it is necessary to organize top experts into a functional entity, who then apply the accumulated and available know-how in geology, mining, mineral raw materials preparation, metallurgy, chemical engineering, environmental protection, mechanical engineering, energy production and other associated sciences, and direct it towards a common goal. The right selection led to a situation where we can proudly emphasize our contributions to opening, building and further developing the worldwide mines and metallurgy plants, including those in India and Iran, work on Koidu diamond mine, an old sludge processing plants in Georgia and Turkey, also Myanmar, Iraq, Pakistan, Congo, Zambia, and still current, now 10 years, continuous collaboration with Japan. Engineering section aims to provide in real time the design of sustainable and optimized process phases and activities for obtaining the best results economy-wise, respecting the latest environmental criteria where special attention is paid to a balanced approach, which ensures minimum error. Engineering services include studies at all levels, from preliminary to feasibility studies, projects and survey reports, independent estimates of mining facility statuses, risk control in mining and technology processes, planning of mining activities and processes, and multidisciplinary project designs. Our working areas have an exceptionally wide spectrum of action branched and structured into divisions of the engineering section, like geology division with field test experts, whereas in the area of surveying we are completely equipped for all kinds of mineral resources to form basis and 3D data visualization, data cross-validation, deposit modeling and ore reserve estimation with completion and defense of the report on reserves in front of the State Commission. Mineral raw materials preparation includes defining of technologies for mineral resource processing. For this, besides laboratory equipment, the Institute has pilot facilities, adequate for all purposes, whereas the Metallurgy and Technology Division sells services of technology and metallurgy process design with special emphasis on strict environmental criteria with drinking water and waste water control. Within the Mechanical, Civil and Electrical Engineering Division, we point out the realization of numerous projects, both in the area of mining and other areas. It is led by staff with personal and institutional licenses for all kinds of electromechanical and civil engineering project designs, to the level of usage permits, including fire safety designs. Environmental protection is a science of future and the only way to ensure sustainable existence. It is thus a growing challenge, especially for areas of heavy or mining industry, the ones with the greatest environmental impact. 
following the incentives of the leading companies, the Institute has recognized this and intensively worked on the implementation of strict environmental norms in the past 20 years. A special pride and acknowledgement has to be put on the still active decade-long collaboration with Japan and its leading institutions. Besides fantastic results, we also wish to commend dozens of our young researchers and scientists who have, by these projects, gained knowledge and experience applicable to all advanced research in the most developed countries of the world, which is a unique investment in building a better future. Sampling, preparation, chemical analysis, geomechanical tests, physical mechanical tests of metallic and non-metallic raw materials, rope tests, electrical and lightning rod tests are just some processes that are carried out daily in well-equipped laboratories of the Mining and Metallurgy Institute POR. The laboratory has expert potential, up-to-date equipment, internationally recognized methods and it's accredited by the National Accreditation Institution, as well as international organizations, all according to the SRPS ISO IEC 17205 standard, which includes more than 300 accredited methods. Chemical analysis of industrial materials and chemical preparations are carried out also on geological samples, concentrates, limestones, copper sulfate, sulfuric acid, impurities from high-purity noble metals, pure cathode copper and alloys based on copper, lead, zinc, aluminium, steel. This is done by classic methods like volumetry, rubimetry, flame analysis of noble metals, cupellation and instrumental methods like electrogravimetry, spectrophotometry, atomic absorption spectrophotometry, inductively coupled plasma atomic emission spectrophotometry, inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, calorimetry, elemental analysis, gas chromatography with mass spectrometry, optical emission spark, spectroscopy for alloys, and analyzers for oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen in alloys. Water analyzes division samples and analyses basic parameters in the field, but also waste, surface and ground waters. The laboratory is equipped for analysis by techniques like pH measurement, turbidimetry, photometry, ion chromatography, atomic absorption spectrophotometry, inductively coupled plasma atomic emission spectrophotometry, inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry. In accordance with the regulations, several parameters are measured for ambient air analysis – smoke number, total particular matter, gas phase and particulate matter heavy metals, and gas status parameters. Gas emissions analysis includes sulfur dioxide, hydrofluoric acid, NOx, heavy metals in suspended particles and precipitates, lead, cadmium, manganese, arsenic, nickel with ISPMS, soot, all in accordance with regulations for waste gas. For all analysis, the Institute has approval from the Ministry in charge of the measurements. Geomechanics Laboratory carries out examinations to determine physical, mechanical and deformation properties of rock and soil samples. The laboratory is divided into two parts – soil examination part and rock examination part. The soil examination laboratory features direct residual shear machine for determining cohesion and internal friction angle, edometer for compression index determination, triaxial device for determining cohesion and internal friction angle, 
It is one of the latest triaxial devices for soil examination with three cells, auto triax, soil consistency determination device, etc. The main activity is obtaining noble metals from primary and secondary feedstock materials and their processing to special alloys and products. Research in the field of anode sludge processing, which is the basic primary feedstock material, has resulted in a new technology for obtaining platinum and palladium from an intermediary product in gold and silver production, and a technology for obtaining tellurium from door furnace slag. Following worldwide trends, a technology has been developed for a new hydrometallurgical procedure for obtaining noble metals, tested in industrial environment with numerous investigations of obtaining metals from polymetallic ores present in our region. A parallel area of research is highly complex technologies for obtaining noble metals from secondary raw materials made up of several technology phases and operations, representing a combination of pyro, electro and hydrometallurgical procedures. The Experimental Division for Noble Metal Refining applies technologies for obtaining noble metals and refining them to metals of commercial quality from raw materials of a wide spectrum. Thanks to the rich experience and up-to-date equipment, our final product are noble metals of high purity, 99.99% quality for gold and silver, 99.95% for platinum and palladium, and 99.8% for rhodium, according to the ASTM standard. Simultaneously with advancement of procedures for obtaining and refining noble metals, we have developed and applied technologies for processing of noble metals at the experimental section, for producing platinum mesh and vessels. Here we emphasize a very wide range of main activities in manufacturing products based on platinum metals and manufacturing of intermediary products based on pure gold and silver and their alloys. The main orientation of the Institute and its science section is to use its scientific research, based primarily on using domestic, available and new knowledge, as well as faster transfer and distribution of scientific achievements, to become the key factor of development. This section realizes national projects in the field of technological development and basic science, as well as integral interdisciplinary research. There are also international projects, like projects of cross-border collaboration with Romania and Bulgaria, with European Union, a project within the Horizon 2020 framework and a project with Japan. Informatics at the Institute is divided into three units within the section for incubator centers and workshops. Center for Development and Maintenance of Information Systems and Hardware Maintenance, Center for Payroll Computing and Workshop for Industrial Informatics. The Center for Development and Maintenance of Information Systems works on design and development of information systems based on the Oracle system and Oracle development tools. The Industrial Informatics Division has developed own solutions in systems for surveillance, control and management of technology processes for process controls of the SCADA type. This division works on computer systems for surveillance, control and management of technology processes in real time. Many years of development have yielded a PLC – Programmable Logic Controller with associated software. This PLC, in a network with a server PC, forms a core of distribution systems for surveillance and control of production processes. The philosophy of the Institute has set roots since the very beginning, and, as it goes with time and technology advancements, gradually has been complemented. It is reflected in well-grounded determinations, moral principles and diligent, rational actions which maintain the culture and contribute to standards of behavior, in terms of high-quality work, 
professional attitude, trust, optimism, persistence, loyalty, responsibility, learning capability and anticipation. This is the image of the Institute which we strive to and which we wish to justify and keep. <laughs>